one uh, best palettes for fall. I have five palettes I'm going to show you. I'm going to swatch them and um, I have two drugstore and then three high end. So let's get on into swatching these palettes. So the first palette I'm going to talk about is the Lorac 3. It just came out this year. I think it was released in June. And this is what it looks like. It's got some really pretty neutral shades. It's really good for uh, fall time especially. And it's a nice just neutral everyday palette too. Uh, the reason why I like it is for the color like Amethyst. That's a great fall color. This color which is Terracotta. Terracotta. Is that it? Ter yeah, Terracotta. Um, and then, what's the other? Oh yeah, Dark Mocha, that's a really nice color too. All of these are really nice. And then you've got really nice, um, crease shades. You've got, um, Terracotta, you've got this, um, dark, this cool taupe color, this dark brown, you've got a black. So it's really nice for fall. So I'm going to swatch Amethyst, Terracotta, um, and then let's do cool taupe. That is what they look like. That is amethyst, terracotta, and this is cool taupe. So these are really nice shades for fall and really for any time of the year because it's a can be a neutral palette, but it's very um, it's very good especially for the fall time. I feel like there's a lot of fall colors in there, so I would recommend this one. The next palette I'm going to talk about is the is the Stila palette. It's the um, perfect me, perfect you, eye, eye and cheek palettes, medium slash tan. And the reason why I like this palette for fall is because of the colors. It's really good quality. You've got two blushes and then four, uh, five, excuse me, five eyeshadows. And so let's do some random, let's do some swatches. Let's do this shade and this shade and then we'll do this blush. This, this is the blush. This is that really pretty sparkly color. I love this color. I feel like it's so, so pretty. And the other color. So this palette has very nice pigmentation. I feel like it's really good for fall. It's really small. Um, you know, if you aren't like maybe the biggest fan of uh, palettes or whatever. So it is small. You can do, you know, you could do several different looks with it. You've got two different blush options. So I do really like this palette. It's by Stila. The next palette I like is the L'Oreal palette. It's the LA palette Nude 2. A lot of people say that this is like um, a dupe for the Naked 3. I kind of disagree with that because um, it does have some pink tones in it, but it has a lot of um, brown tones to it and then it's got like these this raspberry color and this purple color and then it's got um, some nice neutrals in here too I feel like this is kind of a nice um, color it's kind of it's like a brownish color but it's got pink tone to it and you've got this gray color you've got it some browns you've got this white this kind of it looks white but it's really like a light um, champagne color so I really like this palette. It's about, I think, $11. So I do really like this one. So let me do some swatches. And the shadows feel really nice, too. Like, I've tried a lot of drugstore shadows. And I feel like these are really nice. And there are a few shimmer in here. So, but, like, it's not all shimmer. You've got both. So this is what this these shadows look like. And one of the next palettes I'm going to talk about, it is a limited edition palette, so it'll probably only be out for this year. It's the Carly um, Bible or Bible palette. I'm not sure which way you pronounce her last name. Um, anyway, she is a YouTuber, and I've already made a video on this. And if you've seen it, you know I really like this palette. I think it's perfect for fall. I just, I love it. Um, the four big pans are highlights, and then... The other 10 smaller pans are eyeshadows. So let's do some swatches. We'll do this one, this one, this one, and let's do a highlight. Okay. Here's what they look like. 
This one is a matte one. This is a shimmer. This isn't a shimmer. And yeah, wait. Yeah, this one's a shimmer. And then you've got this gold highlight. I really like this palette. I, I think it's just, it's so fall appropriate. And all the colors work really well together. You can get so many different fall looks. And the highlights are really nice. Um, my favorite highlights, definitely the pink one. I like this one a lot too. And then my, my favorite eye look to do with it is um, use this brown color and then use this color. It looks like this. Use this color like, and I'll make my crease a little darker and then either put this color on or this color. I just, I really like this palette. It's definitely, um, it's definitely a fall appropriate palette. It, um, I just think it works really well. The next palette I'm going to talk about is the Lorac Pro Mega 3. It's the holiday palette for this year. It came out in October, so, um, I like this. I think it, it's very versatile. I like it. It has a lot of, um, neutral colors. It's got some, um, like, purple, some purple shades. Uh, it's got this red color. It's got a lot of neutrals. I really like this. I think it's good for fall time or any time. If you're just looking for like one palette, I would definitely recommend it for just one palette. I think it's really nice if you just wanted one. Um, so let's do some swatches of this one. Um, so I do swatches. The top two are matte and the bottom two are shimmer. So let's get started. I'm going to pick up the color eggplant. It's a matte color. I'm going to pick up maple and then for shimmer i'm gonna do cider and let's do rust so that is what they look like i really like this palette I think it's great for any time of the year really I think it's just a really nice palette but I did want to mention it because it has a lot of um, nice fall colors to it and it has um, 32 shadows so you can get a ton of different eye looks and it has a few cool tone shades in there which I really like and it has a big mirror it does get dirty Let's see it does get very dirty easily but the shadows are great I love the rocks shadows so yeah, I would definitely recommend that one too. It is limited edition. I think they'll stop selling it probably sometime in December. So you'll have about two months to purchase it. So yeah, that those were my top uh, five palettes for fall. I'm not quite sure why I'm wanting this video yet. But I do thoroughly enjoy all five of these palettes. I made sure to use all of them before I filmed the video. Make sure my opinion was the same. And my opinion was the same on all of them. I love them all. I like the formulation. I like the colors. The brands did an awesome, awesome job. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my top five for um, fall. I'm not sure I'm wanting this yet, but anyway, my top five, my top five palettes. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed them all. I thoroughly enjoyed all of these. Um, so, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to give a like, subscribe, and leave a comment what your favorite fall palette is. Mine. I love all, as I said, I love all of these palettes, but my top one probably be, um, I don't know the color by, but I think this one's just perfect for fall. Like, I love the Lorac Mega Pro and the Lorac 3 palette, but, um, I don't feel like there's quite as fall as this one. Like, this one is so fall, it screams fall to me. I love it. So, make sure you let me know what your top, um, fall palette is is and thank you so much for watching and i hope you're having a good day and i hope tomorrow's even better bye